After the debate on Thursday night, the Republicans were rejoicing. Oh, we found something we can pounce on with Joe Biden. We're going to exaggerate that and talk that shit up. And of course, the Democrats fell right into it. They were fueled by the Republicans. They panicked. They got scared. And they said, oh, my God, Joe Biden has lost his chance to win the presidency. His poll numbers have to be cratering. And then you have the media who gets in the middle, the shit stirs, and mixes this stuff up into a foamy fucking froth. That's what happened. Now, the Democrats are so worried about Joe Biden losing in November that they're deciding, well, maybe we should replace him. Maybe he should step down. But a couple of days now after that debate, what has it really done? Guess what? As much as I don't like polls, these are the same polls that said Donald Trump was beating Joe Biden. Joe Biden's poll numbers aren't cratering. In fact, in some cases, they increased. They increased. The damage, there was no damage. There might have been a net positive for Joe Biden. Now, the question is, why is that the case when everybody knows Joe Biden had a disastrous day? Well, there might be empathy involved, there might be common sense, there might be intelligence, because as much as the Republicans want you to believe certain things, and as much as the Democrats want to be terrified, and as much as the media wants to stir the shit, people saw what they fucking saw. They saw Donald Trump as a bully, a buffoon, a liar, a dangerous human being, saying horrific things. That's really where the problem was. Now, Joe Biden comes out a little slow, and people are worried about that. Granted, but people have empathy. People understand that he's just like all of us. He has down days. He has up days. And when you compare the two things, a crazy fucking dictator or an old man that's running a little slow, the old man running a little slow is probably the better bet. This is why it did ruin Uh, Joe Biden's campaign. And I told you that from the beginning, but people are still spinning around in circles going, oh my, what are we going to do? You know what you're going to do? You're going to do fucking nothing. You're going to press ahead like big boys and big girls and do the job we're supposed to fucking do. Let Joe Biden go out and give his rallies or campaign stops and show what he can do. And like I said in a previous video, this will all fade away. The fact that you're panicking now and getting upset does not work in the efforts we're trying to achieve here in this campaign. November, above anything, above everything, we've got to win. We've got to eradicate Donald Trump and every Republican we possibly can. That's the goal. And anything you do to slow that down or change it is fucking working against what we're trying to do. So all this panic about how this is going to be devastating for Joe Biden, it wasn't. It won't be. And Donald Trump still got to get sentenced to prison for his 34 felony convictions. That's going to be devastating. That's going to carry the day in the news, and that's what the Republicans will be crying about in a week to 10 days.